Pharmaceutical Quality System Dashboard – Three Ways to Drive Effectiveness A Pharmaceutical Quality System Dashboard helps communicate QMS health of the different subsystems. The pharmaceutical industry was slow in adopting quality system approaches, in great part because the US FDA has not updated its 1979 CGMP regulation. The regulation was written before quality systems were the norm. The FDA helped the medical device industry evolve into quality systems by promulgating the quality system regulation in 1997. In 2006, the FDA published the guideline Quality Systems Approach to Pharmaceutical Current Good Manufacturing Practice Regulations. Finally, in 2009, ICHQ-10 Pharmaceutical Quality Systems was approved. At last, the pharmaceutical industry began adopting several quality system elements long used in other industries. Since the U.S. Pharmaceutical CGMP regulation has not changed, we are left with fitting the CGMP regulation into a quality system framework. In the mid-2000s, I had the task of developing a deep dive QMS assessment to support our LNA activities. At the same time, we needed standard QMS gap assessments to measure the relative strengths of various CMOs. We needed a tool that could easily communicate pharmaceutical QMS health both to management and remediation project teams. We needed to communicate the skills required to do the job and needed a tool which would track progress. I developed a QMS dashboard and started with the six systems the FDA outlined in their 2006 guidance and I mapped the 21 CFR 211 to them. I also added in pieces of ICHQ-10. The result was a dashboard with six systems, with each system having subsystems. Each subsystem is linked to the corresponding CGMP regulation. I have since added a seventh system. The seventh system contains risk management and design control. Within risk management lies knowledge management as discussed in ICHQ-10. Together, they contain product and process understanding and serve as the fuel to drive the decisions in the other six systems. QMS dashboard communicates subsystem health. I created a dashboard applicable for drug device combination products. It considers both drug product and drug substance. The results of an actual assessment are given in Figure 1. The dashboard makes quite an impression on management when discussing QMS gaps. The eye goes directly to the systems and subsystems that need help. In this example, you can see a drug device combination assessment against a composite quality system. The red represents subsystem elements that are substantially non-compliant, while yellow represents major deviations. It is not atypical for those with device experience to struggle with drug-centric QMS elements. This organization needs help with systemic issues related to validation and laboratory controls. Discussions are specific and detailed in such presentations. Each subsystem is discussed in turn in relation to the overall QMS health. QMS Dashboard organizes project teams. The logical next step is creating teams to close the gaps. The discussion or resources becomes straightforward. It is easy to see which departments need to be involved. The organization determines the skills required. The discussions often center on long-term versus short-term need. Long-term sustainability leads to permanent resources while short-term gaps are closed by contract labor. Project charters are easy to write with detailed and specific endpoints, deliverables, milestones, and resources. I have successfully used the dashboard on several remediation efforts and created detailed checklists for each subsystem. My typical approach is to assign a system owner to each of the seven systems. 
The system owners serve as a steering team and are tasked with driving completion of their effort and ensure their system is aligned with the others. Each of the system owners can have project teams and project owners driving specific efforts within their area. The whole process is scalable to the need. QMS Dashboard organizes cross-functional responsibility. The dashboard is also excellent for communicating ongoing compliance and continuous improvement. Again, the system owners are responsible for the overall health of their system. It is a great way to drive cross-functional commitment to quality and instill a quality culture. Each system has a strong leader from the corresponding functional area leading the system. During audits and inspections, I organize the back room according to the QMS systems. Each group reviews and prepares the material for the front room and support their SME while they are answering questions. This approach is the key ingredient in overall success during inspections and audits. The pharmaceutical QMS dashboard has been a great tool for the companies with whom I work. It is easily understood and fits in most organizational structures. I'm giving away the dashboard and subsystem definitions. The QMS dashboard pairs well with element six of the supplier risk management guide. Be sure to watch the video, Supplier Risk Management is the quality system in control.